Example 10.4 is going to give us two matrices. It says define A, and we're also going to define a B. And each one of these matrices is a one by two matrix. There's one row with two columns. And it says perform each indicated matrix operation. So part A just simply says A plus B. So that's matrix A plus matrix B. So I'm going to copy down matrix A, which is 1, 4. And then I'll copy down matrix B, negative 2, 3. And what we're going to do to perform the addition is go to the corresponding elements within the matrices. So for example, if I wanted to start with the first row, first column, I would look at 1 and negative 2. When I add those together, I'm going to end up with the uh, value of negative 1. And so that now becomes the entry in the first row, first column for the, uh, for the answer to this matrix addition, to the, to the sum. And then we'll do the same thing with the next entry. So we have the first row, second column with 4 and 3. And if I add those together, I'll end up with 7. And so our result is another one by two matrix, same size as, what, as the two matrices we started with, but now the entries are negative one and seven. Let's move on to the difference, A minus B. Setup will look identical, except we will replace the addition with a subtraction. And if I line up corresponding elements, starting with the first row, first column, I'll be working with one and negative two but I need to make sure that I subtract them correctly. One minus negative two will be positive three. And then finally, if I look at the four and three first row, second column entries, I'm gonna end up with uh, one. Four take away three is just gonna be one. And that is the resulting matrix for A minus B. Part C wants us to look at a scalar product negative two is gonna multiply with matrix B. We can write that out, negative two times the matrix B, which is represented with the entries negative two, three. The definition I mentioned that this is really just a distribution. So you're gonna be taking this negative two and multiplying it by every entry, every element that is in the matrix. So your new matrix will be the exact same size same order, but each one of the entries has just been multiplied by negative two. And that's the result of negative two B. And then for part D, last one of these, we're gonna be looking at uh, multiple operations within the same expression. So here, I want you to recognize that you have two scalar products, one with A, another with B, and we have a summation between these two scalar products. So just like with real numbers, we have to be cognizant of the order of operations. So when we think about multiplication and addition, we should always be performing multiplications before the additions. So we wanna make sure that we do the scalar uh, products first, but let's go ahead and write out what it looks like. So two times one four plus three times negative two three and we'll do the scalar products. That'll be two eight for that first matrix, and then negative six nine for the second matrix. And then as we add them together, we will add the corresponding elements like we saw in part A, and we'll see negative four followed by 17. And that represents two A plus three B.